I pass by it, then she passed by it, then I came back to it, I opened it up, and I still walked away from it, but boy, am I glad I came back to it. Hey guys, Patriot Picker here. My name is Chris. We're down in the eBay bunker getting a very early start to the day as we've got a lot on our plate. Got to take the old runaround car in for some light maintenance work and uh, we're going to get started. So this video is going to tell you a little bit about what's been going on lately in our store and that is that we've had some roller coaster rides in the month of August. It is what it is, and I can't describe it any other way than that. You have these days where you just do awesome, and then you have two days of crickets, and I just can't put my finger on what is the reason for that. Um, you know, there's all kinds of people out there that are in reselling telling us, you know, you do this, and this will happen, and then you do it, and it don't work. And then somebody else says, you do that. And, and, and really, truthfully, what I'm learning is nobody really knows the answers. Uh, they all have opinions. And you just decide yourself how you're going to do it. And you just keep going. And uh, it pays off eventually. And so with that said, let's jump into what's sold here recently for us. And so the first thing up is this LG flip phone. Um, you know, flip phones are flip Phones. Did I say flip phones? Phones. Phones. Yeah. Flip phones are still around and still being used. And this one went out the door for $19.99 plus shipping. And, uh, you know, maybe there'll come a day when they're not. But thank God they still are now. All right. Moving right along. So we've got this Chicago Bulls Windy City. Uh, cap. I think this is a new error, and I also believe that it is a 5950, and that is going out the door for $16.99 plus shipping. All right, that brings us to a hoodie, and uh, most of you know where I live, so I'm not going to go into all that again, but we're close to a major college, and that college is LU, Liberty University. And so we have a lot of success selling LU attire. So this is a Liberty men's lacrosse hoodie from Under Armour. And it's going out the door for $24.99 plus shipping. And then next up uh, is another whole set of the Left Behind series hardcover. Uh, these are real uh, easy to pick up. They sold so many of them. Uh, they're still flooded the market out there, so anytime that I can find a complete set, and by the way, I don't know if you're into selling this particular set of books, but if you are and you watch my channel, there's one thing that I've noticed. Book three is one of the most difficult books to find in this series. It's called Nikolai. It's I got a blue cover. I should have brought that one in to show you while I'm telling you the story, but anyway... Um, if you go to do this set to try to get it together, uh, I do believe it's like 10 volumes all together, uh, maybe 12. I can't remember. <laughs> but anyway, the third book is the one that seems to be most difficult to find. A lot of people, what they'll do is they'll get a lot of the hard covers and they'll uh, mix and match with soft covers because soft covers are actually easier to find than the hard covers, in my opinion. And you know our opinions. They all stink. All right. That brings me to this item. And this is going to be one of those items that uh, whenever I see stuff like this, I tend to hesitate a lot on whether to buy it or not. Um, and the reason for it is, is because when it comes to old electronics, there's, you know, they, they need to be tested. I'm not going to sell something to you if it don't work. So... To, 
to, to buy it means that you've got to take it home and test it. And if it don't work, the hassle of taking it back, if they'll even take it back. And if you buy it at a yard sale, obviously you're stuck with it. So uh, I hesitated to buy this, but when I opened it up, it was working at the uh, thrift store. So I went ahead and got it. There were a lot of people walking around looking at it and talking about it. And I thought they were going to get it. And when they put it down, I said, well, I'm going to go check it out. But anyway, it's a JVC, old vintage style um, camcorder, VHS, of course. Or not VHS. Uh, it's got the small tapes. I don't know. I, it's not VHS, but anyway. Uh, it's got the smaller tapes to it. But it does work. Um, and it comes with a case and battery charger and the instructions and all that. But anyway, that's going out the door for $59.99. Uh, plus shipping. Now that brings me to the uh, best item. As I always say, I save the best for last. And uh, at the intro of the video, you heard me talk about who passed it up and who went back. And also, the story basically is we're in a Goodwill, my wife and I, and we're looking, you know, through stuff. And she's over, uh, actually working on something sp specific to try to make sure all parts are are there in regards to this one thing she was looking at and i was continuing to shop i went by this particular item and i looked at it in the box and i just said nah and i walked away she came by later on she looked at it and did the same thing then i made another sweep back through because i always make two or three sweeps before i call it quits and I decided this time I was going to open the box up and look and see what was in it. And as I did, I thought, man, that's got a lot of parts to it. It's old, very old looking. And I don't know if all the parts are there, so I'm not even going to fool with it. But something inside me said, go back and look at it again. And so I went back and looked at it again. And I thought, huh, you know, maybe, just maybe all the parts are there. So I immediately started thinking, in order to be able to do this correctly, I need to go over and sit on a flat surface and lay it all out and see if there's any instructions in the box because I didn't look for instructions originally. And I, I went ahead and did so. And as, as I'm sitting there, I thought, you know what? I haven't, even, I haven't even comped it yet to see what it is and if it's even selling. Why am I wasting my time? And I began to look it up, and when I did, the first ad that popped up was just incredible, like, incredible amount of money. And I was going, what? Am I looking at the right thing? And so I, I scrolled through and noticed that there were just a few of these, um, and they were all selling for the same price. And this was sold, by the way. This wasn't listed. Then I clicked over on the listed, and there was about six or eight more of them that were even higher dollar amounts. And I was like... Oh my gosh. And I ran over and told my wife and then we both joined together to look at the directions because they were in the box. And part of the pieces to this particular item hadn't even been opened yet. It was still sealed up. So although this is a very old item and I think it had been used, but I think it had been used with other parts and they had extra ones in this bag. But, uh, what is it, right? All right, so what it is, and this is how I saw it on the shelf. It is a, can't get close enough there where you can see that says Optimus 199 Ranger. And what this is, is a camp stove that's made in Sweden, okay? It is a very old one. It's been around for quite a while. And there's a flying creature flying around my head, of course. Never fails. Uh, and so... Um, that's how I saw it on the shelf, okay? And I thought, man, the box is all kind of old and, you know, looking. And that's why I passed it up, because I didn't think much about it. But then I opened it up, and I started looking at it. And as we said, you know, we, we, get, we started looking at all the parts, and the directions were very well laid out to where you can match everything up. And sure enough, everything was there. And I was like, okay, I'm getting this. Now, here's the good part. I had no idea when I picked this up that an item like this could end up in a Goodwill. But this particular item, guys, sold for $435 plus shipping. And so 
It is very, very rare probably that you're going to find something like this. But if there was ever a bolo that I could give you, be looking for these particular stoves. Optimus 199 Ranger Camp Stoves. Okay. Now, again, chances are you probably finding one in, in complete parts and in working order. I mean, I don't even know if it's working, by the way. I'm not going to put fuel in it. It's a three fuel burner. I'm not going to put fuel in it. And so what I did when I listed it, I just said in the description, hey, it hasn't been tested. I don't know if it works, but all the parts are there. And that's what I put. So we'll see. Keep those fingers crossed that it don't come back. Um, but I'm just super stoked that you can find something like that in a, in a thrift store uh, or at a yard sale. And by the way, the, the coolest part of this story is or another part of this story is, is that they had a price on this, okay? And I think it was like two ninety nine or something like that. But when we got up to the pay for all the rest of the items, the lady forgot to charge me for it. So when we got home, we realized this didn't get added up. Now, I go to the G-Wheels, as I call them, uh, weekly, pretty much. Um, probably two or three times a week sourcing. Uh, so I know everyone really well. And so I'll just make up for it, uh, on the next time I'm at that store, I'll let them know. Um, and by the way, there's something else I want to say real quick. If you ever go to a Goodwill and you're, you're sourcing, I want to give you this little piece of advice. Now, I, you know, sometimes just common sense stuff, but don't ever let the workers tell you that something doesn't work. If you've tested it, and it doesn't work electronically, then you yourself know that you probably shouldn't get it. But there are certain things that sometimes, uh, you know, you ought to think about before you take somebody else's advice. For example, we bought a lamp not too long ago that was a Winnie the Pooh vintage Winnie the Pooh lamp. And uh, they gave me a bulb for it. You know, when you, when you look at lamps, they don't have bulbs in them. But she had a bulb... And she was like, here, test this bulb. And I put the bulb in it, and it didn't work. And then the other little girl that works there said somebody had actually brought this back and said it didn't work. So I was hesitant about buying it. But my wife was with me, and she was like, oh, what, you know, let's go ahead and do it, and we'll get home. And if it don't work, you, you know, on electronics, you can bring them back. So we got home, and it worked. So don't always take their advice, because sometimes... Um, it can be wrong advice. All right. So that's it. This is Patriot Picker. I'm signing out. I hope everybody's doing well. And by the way, I'm going to give you another reminder. My other channel is live. Okay. It's called Patriot Preacher. And if you are watching Patriot Picker, uh, I strongly suggest that you go over and check it out. Um, new videos are loaded every Sunday at 3 p.m. And uh, I'd like for you to go over there and subscribe and follow me on Patriot Preacher. So this is Patriot Picker, and I'm signing out for now. We'll catch you guys again on the flip side.